This is what happened in year 39. Ligula shows the first signs that he is unhinged. If you want to know the long version, make sure to stick around after the intro. Hi there, my name is Peter Grunwald. This is No Year Zero, where we try and cover history year by year as long as possible. In year 39, we still have our three main powers on Earth. Rome in Europe, Parthia in the west of Asia, and the Eastern Han Dynasty in the east of Asia. We do have other civilizations running around on the globe, but that is a topic for a completely different video. So, let's get into it. Here we will cover the people who were born of note in year 39. On November the 3rd, Marcus Aeneas Lucius, a Roman poet, was born. He is best known for his epic Pharsala and is one of the people who joined the conspiracy against Nero later. On December the 30th, Titus Flavius, a future Roman emperor, is born. His military exploits before he took the position of the first citizen is very well known, especially in the first Jewish-Roman war. He became the emperor in year 79 CE. <music> Julia Drusilla, the daughter of Caligula and Melanona, is born. She did not have much achievements in her life, so there's nothing else to take note of. Claudia Octavia is also born. She is the daughter of future Emperor Claudius and the first wife of the future Emperor Nero. Here we will cover the events that happened in year 39. Well, events that we can place in this year that is. A financial crisis emerged in Rome, and it seems that Emperor Caligula's spending started to stifle the cash flow in the capital. The Roman Emperor, in response, seizes assets of its public officials and even started to kill off individuals to seize their estates. Some other desperate measures that were taken is the Emperor asked wealthy individuals to borrow money for the Empire. O Phineas de Gelinius, a Roman Praetorian guard of later Emperor Nero is banished from Rome for adultery with Caligula's two sisters, Agrippa the Younger and Julia Levilli. Herod Agrippa, king of Judea, that's the one that was set free and his kingdom was restored by Emperor Caligula. He successfully accused his nephew, Herod Antipas, ruler of Gallia and mentioned in the past, uh, past episode, of a conspiracy against Caligula. 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 Herod Antipas is exiled to Spain and Herod Agrippa receives his territory in compensation. Emperor Caligula starts a campaign in Germania, but stops the campaign on a conspiracy to overthrow him by his brother-in-law. He returns to Rome later that year. Emperor Caligula still claims victory over Germania though and demands a triumph. Emperor Caligula orders Publius Petronius to build a statue of himself in the Temple of Jerusalem. Publius Petronius, governor of Syria, finds a way to delay this statue until Caligula's death later. Lucius Livius Ocellus Culpanius Galba, future Emperor Galba, becomes the general of Upper Germania on the request of Emperor Caligula. Well, he did this in fear that Janus Cornelius Letitilius Gaetilcius has a plot to overthrow. Gaianus Cornelius Letivius Jeta, that guy, was the previous general of the legions in Upper Germania. Gnaeus Domiticus Corbulo becomes the significant consul. Filio of Alexandria, a Jewish leader mentioned back in year 32, leads an embassy to Rome on the anti-Jewish conditions placed on the Jews in Alexandria. The plots of the three daggers were uncovered. Agrippa the Younger, Marcus Aemilius Lepitilus, and Julia Livia plotted to murder the Emperor Caligula. 
and install Marcus Aemilius Lepidius as emperor. After this, there were even accusations that the three were even lovers. Caligula was clearly not happy with what happened. In the Eastern Han Dynasty, Emperor Guangwu made dukes of all of his sons, with Louis Yang, his fourth son, impressing him the most. Here we will look at the people who passed away in year 39, with a few previously mentioned. Gnaeus Cornelius Letilius Getulius, a Roman consul and co-conspiracy against Emperor Caligula, is executed. Marcus Aemilius Lepidius, a Roman politician, once named heir to Caligula, now charged for conspiracy and adultery behavior with both of Emperor Caligula's sisters. He died as well. He is executed. Senisa the Elder, a Roman rhetorician and writer, died. He is remembered for his history on the Roman Civil War after Julius Caesar's death up until Tiberius' death. So, that is year 39. If we forgot anyone, any births or any events, please remind us in the comments below. So please subscribe. We are going to try and cover every year of this one as best as we can. We now have our videos on a bunch of social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. We even have a podcast on it you know, on Spotify under No Year Zero. That can be on most um, podcasting systems. So thank you for watching and please come back next year.